I only came because you promised to be I don't know what you're good. talking about. I don't know what you expect. <laughs> Can't go on, Fleur. If only you weren't so, well, so physical. Yes, I know. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediment. Well, it won't wash, at least not with me. Well, then, let's talk of something sensible. What have you been writing? You won't like it. Frightfully bitter. It's frightfully true. Does Michael ever ask if you see me? Never. Why? Oh, I don't know. What would you answer if he did? <sighs> yes, that's your attitude, isn't it, Fleur? Well, I tell you, it won't last. Wait for it. I'm sorry. Truly, Stay I am. Here you are. Don't move. He's down there in the street. Michael? But how could he have known? You don't know him at all, do you? Do you suppose he'd have come if he thought you were here? Well, then why should he have come? Perhaps he wanted to talk to me. He's dithering about. He can't make up his mind. No. It's all right. Don't get the wind up. He won't be allowed in. Has he seen you? No. But you realise, don't you, that I only have to open that window and shout, Michael, and he'll be up here like a oh, shot. Lord, then please. you'd really be in the soup, you wouldn't you? You wouldn't do that. Wouldn't I? Where is he now? He's going down the street. Shall I call him back? I'm a blackguard, but not quite to that point, worse luck. He's gone. No, Wilfred. No. But it is odd, isn't it? I mean, why should he choose today? You don't suppose he's easy in his mind, do you? You're sneering at me because I don't love you. Perhaps. Perhaps a little because you don't love Michael. You're unjust. I can love. I'd never come here, and I'll never come again. A sensible decision. You think I'm a heartless beast? Well, so I am now. Goodbye. 